Well, hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. My buddy Brent from Boston, Massachusetts uh, writes me and says, I have just heard of a green called kale. What is it and is it good for me? Well, if you haven't been around the natural food industry, you probably have never heard of kale. It's not something that, you know, they promote. It's sitting out in most of the mainstream grocery stores where it's accessible. Um, kale is, is a great um, a vegetable. Um, it's in the, uh, the cabbage family and the leaves are usually green or purple. Um, it's, it's a little tougher, so it's not like lettuce. It's not quite as sweet. It's a little more like Swiss chard but very delicious uh, raw on a salad, um, or a lot of people cook with them like you would do, uh, you know, uh, cabbage or, or Swiss chard and things of that nature. But the thing I like about kale is it's really rich in uh, vitamin A, C, vitamin K, B6, folate. Um, you've got a lot of manganese, uh, other minerals that are in there, so it really adds a, a good realm to, to my diet. Now, I like it just raw on a salad. Um, um, but you also uh, can cook with it, you know, uh, boil it, steam it, um, and use it as a, as a side dish. The other good thing about kale is it's got some great uh, phytochemicals, uh, lutein, xanthine, uh, good carotenoids. So again, really healthy uh, item to add. Now don't go destroying it by adding those cheap processed salad dressings because you kind of defeat the whole purpose of putting something uh, healthy in your diet. Um, find a nice organic uh, salad dressing that's not, you know, processed and has a lot of preservatives and stuff in it. Anyway, uh, eat kale. Uh, maybe back when Popeye was around, um, if kale was around, he wouldn't have uh, ate so much spinach. Maybe he would have ate kale. Anyway, hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch you later.